Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions a week after the FA Cup or the weekend the FA Cup's just gone so pretty surprising results I may talk about on this video but anyway guys let's get straight into this video so guys you know what to do so like big fat thumbs up you enjoy it subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the first game we're going to talk about is Brighton vs Crystal Palace now, all you know that I am a Brighton fan, it's where I'm originally from. And you may also know that there's a bit of big rivalry between these two clubs. Some fans call it a derby, some fans don't. But I don't personally, but that'd be another video for another day. Put it down in the comments below if you want to know why I don't call this game a derby. But anyway, over to the results. Crystal Palace did lose 3-2 at home to West Ham. I did watch that game and Crystal Palace nearly did come back into it. Brighton were on the other side of that, flipped the result round and actually won 3-2 away to Everton. Their first win at Griddison Park ever, I believe. A very good, interesting performance for Brighton and uh, yeah, Crystal Palace just lost out 3-2. It's going to be a very interesting game. As I said, it'll be very heated. Um, there will be a vlog on my channel of this game, so... I'm going to go for a 2-1 Brighton win though for that one. And uh, yeah, look, should be a pretty good game. Um, the next one is Manchester City versus Chelsea. Chelsea joined 2-2 with Liverpool. I believe Chelsea went 2-0 down in that uh, uh, game as well. And came back 2-2. Very good um, result there. Uh, Man City just managed the um, Arsenal in their last Premier League result. 2-1 at the Emirates Stadium. I watched that game pretty much up to the extent that I could. I did actually go to a game that day. I can't remember what game I actually went to. But, you know, very interesting game there. And it's going to be a very interesting game here as well. But I believe Man City may just edge this one and I'll go for a 3-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Burnley versus Leicester. Now, Leicester have had a game called off this previous midweek. Uh, due to COVID and injuries and players on international duty. This game may be called up at, at this present time, it's still going ahead, so I will predict it. Uh, Burnley did lose 3-1 at the previous uh, Premier League result. I believe they've been knocked out the FA Cup as well. Going forward to this game now, I'm going to go for a Leicester win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Leicester win. My next one is Newcastle versus Watford. Uh, Watford, I don't, oh yes they did play, lost 1-0 to Spurs, only lost 1-0 to Spurs at home in the last pre, uh, Premier League result because of a 90 minute something uh, winner and you know fair play to Watford for only losing that small margin between you know uh, Tottenham who are really coming into a league of their own over the past few months under their new management. Newcastle, did they play? Did they play? Did they play? No, I don't think Newcastle play must have had a game called off. But anyway, going forward to this result, I'm going to go for a Watford win and I'm going to go for a 2 1 Watford win. My next one is Norwich versus Everton. Norwich, did they play? I can't see him here. Um, what about Everton? Everton did lose 3 2 to Brighton as I've just really announced. It's going to be a very interesting game at Carrow Road. And no dis disrespect to uh, Everton, but I don't think Norwich are doing that badly under Dean Smith. I know results are otherwise. Everton do need to get back on the winning trail though. I believe this game may be a draw, and I'm going to go for a one on scoreline for that one. My next one is Wolves versus Southampton. Uh, I'm not sure if Southampton played in the uh, league. Uh, I don't think Wolves did. I, oh yes, Wolves beat Man United 1-0 at Old Trafford um, in their previous Premier League result. This could be a very interesting game. Wolves did really dominate United, I believe. Maybe deserved to win by more goals. Didn't happen, but anyway, very good um, Wolves win there. I believe they will do it again, and I'll go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Aston Villa versus Manchester United. Uh, I've just mentioned Man United, um, you know, losing one of the tools in their last previous result. Uh, Aston Villa did play, where did I just see him? Uh, they lost two wide Brentford away from home. Um, no, dis no real disappointment there. Fair enough, these teams did play in the 
FA Cup uh, Monday night. If you're not watching this on the day I'm over it. Aston Villa nearly did come back into the game as well. Um, letting on this one, Zach Villa part. I'll feel like I'll take confidence out of that game. I believe they will, and I'll go for an Aston Villa win of a 2 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Liverpool versus Brentford. Now, Liverpool did have a game called off. Don't know that they played. Oh, yes, they did. They uh, drew 2 2 with Chelsea. It's going to be a very interesting game with a Brentford win as well. They beat Aston Villa 2 1 at home. It's going to be a very interesting game, though, but I believe ever. Liverpool will edge this one, and I'll go for a 3-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is West Ham versus Leagues. West Ham beating Palace 3-2 away from home. Leagues United beating Burnley 3-1 at home. Leagues have a bit tough team to sum up. This is another big game for Leagues, but I believe West Ham will walk away with this one, and I'll go with a 2-1 scoreline for that one. My last one is Spurs versus Arsenal, the big North London derby uh, between Tottenham and Arsenal. Tottenham did win 1-0 um, away to Watford in the last fixture. Arsenal did lose 2-1 in my previous Premier League fixture. But Spurs have not been playing brilliantly. They did go 1-0 down. I think it's Shrewsbury they played in the cup. They did come back within the last 10 minutes, I think. I think it's like 4-1. But anyway, go up and did this game. Will I, will I go Spurs? Will I go Arsenal? I think I'm just about to go swing it with Arsenal and I'll go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give it a big front front if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.